I saw <clears throat> much improved second half performance against Spurs. Has the message this week been to the players that it has to be a 90 minute performance to win games in the Premier League? Yes, as uh, I said, always uh, we need always a, a new start, and the, the starting point this, uh, this week has to be the, the second half against uh, Tottenham because uh, once again we saw that we can compete against a, a team which is playing Champions League, a team who is unbeaten in, in Premier League, uh, a team which uh, was uh, fighting for the title last uh, last season and uh, the second 45 minutes uh, we could score one goal, we could score uh, another goal and uh, the image of the, of the team was completely different. So sometimes it's difficult but uh, sometimes just with the, with the attitude is, is enough. Is it even more important to start the game well against West Ham to capitalise on their indifferent start to the season? It always is uh, important to to start the game well because uh, again it's uh, and I lived as a as a player when you're on the pitch and uh, you don't start well it's difficult to to change your uh, your mind your uh, your spirit and uh, for a reason I try to to transmit them every single day to start the, the games uh, well and we have to, to try because uh, we did because uh, for example the game against Everton the first 25-30 minutes were really good. Do you think teams, opposing teams, raise their game? Going to the, the new stadium, has that made life more difficult for West Ham? Will they help your players? I don't know because uh, I've never been in the Olympic Stadium, I've never been in Oton Park, so I think they are not in their best moment, but uh, they are a, a good team, they have a, a good manager, they did a, an amazing season last uh, season, so once again our biggest mistake uh, can be to go to to play against West Ham thinking that they, they have problems or no, they have problems because they are not winning games but one day they are going to start to win games and I hope it's not on, on Saturday. Some of your players still adjusting to life in the Premier League, do you think there is a lot more to come? Of course, uh, from all of us. Uh, we, it's true that we've lost the last three games but uh, again our uh, start of the season was uh, really good and uh, we have to to keep calm, we are in a position that is not uh, concerned about for, uh, for anybody and uh, it's just to keep improving, to keep uh, growing because again we have uh, a few players who has uh, Premier League experience. Sam Allardyce has lost his job this week. Do you feel sadness for him? I prefer to, to not say anything because I don't know the the problem because uh, I didn't really concentrate on uh, preparing the, the game so the only thing that I can say is that they had something because uh, I know the stupid and I, I had something but uh, again, I prefer to, to not say anything and uh, the only thing that I can say is that uh, I am enjoying the, the league and this football every single day and I am in, a, in an amazing club so for a reason I, I prefer to, to not say anything because again, I don't know uh, sadly the problem. Gareth Southgate though former Middlesbrough manager has taken over for the short term at least. Are you pleased to see him get his chance and could that lead to a possible international pull-up for, for Ben Gibson? Yes, it's, uh, it's, uh, I'm really pleased for him because uh, I know his, uh, his time here as a captain, as a, as a manager. I've been in contact with, uh, with him since I've been here because uh, we have um, we had players in uh, under 21 national national team and uh, for a reason I'm really pleased because uh, he deserves and I hope uh, it's not just a, a job for one or two months and I hope uh, he can stay in the job because uh, I, know, I have a really good relationship with him. Do you think Ben can make the, the step up to, to play for the full side? We were speaking about that uh, thing last week and uh, we've lost three games in a row and I don't think uh, to play about uh, going to the national team when the team is uh, losing games is the, the best thing. Final question. Are you into your golf eye at all? Will you be watching the Ryder Cup this weekend? I don't know. <laughs> it depends on the, on the game. I have a, a, fr a friend playing there, Sergio, so I wish him all the, all the best. Hi, uh, Roger Thames here. I'm working for Premier League Productions uh, today. Um, the last two or three results obviously disappointing for you. Have they affected the players' confidence? How do you feel they've reacted to that sort of short setback? 
I think uh, they need to know and they need to, to feel that uh, we are able to play against the, the best teams and we come uh, face them face to face because uh, again, first 30 minutes against Everton, second half against uh, Crystal Palace against uh, Tottenham, we were at least as good as, as them and for the reason they have to, to know at the end that uh, we can compete and uh, is the, the way. But especially, as I said, that we have to to go to the to the games, especially from the from the first second, as we did in in Liverpool against Everton. Six games in now. How do you feel overall? The team have coped to the different challenge of the Premier League. Sorry. How 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 do you think your team has coped to the different challenge of the Premier League? Six games now to have a judgment on the way they've reacted. I think. Uh, for my thing, yes, I think that the, the position where we are, I think, uh, is the position that uh, one month ago everybody could feel uh, Middlesbrough were, uh, was going to be. Because uh, five points, maybe we had added the, the point against uh, Crystal Palace with six points, uh, it's just one point. But again, the, the performances we need to, to improve because, uh, again, I said, after Everton, that uh, Everton was in our league, but I can say that uh, Everton or Tottenham are not our league because uh, if we lose all the games our, against uh, teams which are not our league, we are going to get relegated. So for reason, every single game is important for us and I think uh, we are in a good position knowing that we have lost the last three games. What do you think the team have learned so far from the half a dozen games? Yes, and, uh, we are learning, but uh, we have to learn quick because uh, the games are, are going and we are losing games. And, uh, and we don't, I don't want, I never wanted and I never want uh, excuses. And uh, for a reason we have to, to improve as soon as possible because uh, again, we have a, a good opportunity now against the uh, West Ham, uh, another good challenge for us. And uh, after that we have the international break. On the positive side, what about the encouragement so far that you've seen in the team? What are the strengths you think that you can build on? Yes, it's, but it's uh, the attitude because uh, again, it's, uh, the second half, uh, the tactics were the, the same because we had uh, worked uh, all week uh, to to play against Tottenham and uh, the tactics were the same in the first half uh, as in the in the second half. And for reason, just the, the attitude the, on the on the pitch was different. And with that attitude, we could uh, score one goal and again, we could score another one. I know clubs love to take it one game at a time, but if you looked at this West Ham game four or five weeks ago, it would have perhaps looked a very different fixture than it now does because of their recent form. Are you surprised to see them in such a, a difficult position? Yes, it's a, a surprise because uh, last season they did a, a really good season, but uh, again, it's a, a surprise. But uh, one day they're going to start winning games because they have a, again a really good players, a really good coach. So for a reason, once again, I hope they, they can't start on, on Saturday. Being at home hasn't been too easy recently. Do you feel the team needs to adjust its approach and its tactics from the, the home games in the Premier League to travelling away? Yes, uh, they know everything before the, the games because uh, we can be better or worse, but uh, one thing clear is that uh, the players are right to the pitch knowing almost 100%, uh, if you know 100%, 90% of the opponents and pieces, uh, the way of uh, Attack, they were on defense, so they go with uh, all the information to the to the pitch, and it's just to to go um, confident that we can we can win the games. You mentioned the international break uh, a few moments ago. Uh, is there a factor that you like to to go into that that two week break on the back of a positive performance? How important is that to you? It depends. Sometimes it's a uh, momentum. Sometimes uh, you are winning and uh, you don't want that uh, dance break. Sometimes you are losing and it's, uh, it's good. Sometimes you have uh, injuries and uh, it's a good moment. But at the moment uh, we don't have injuries. We are, uh, again, not in a good moment because we have lost the last three games, but we are not uh, bad. So for reason, the only thing that is uh, good for us, I think, now is uh, that we have a, a few national team players, which is uh, good for the club because uh, it means that uh, we have good players. So you say no injuries, so no particular team needs, no concerns at the moment? No, just the rather bitter but long time, so the rest of the team is just good. Okay, thank you very much. Um, just on that, how, how far away would, would Grant be now, uh, I saw, is he anywhere near return? Right? He's uh, improving a lot in the last uh, two or three weeks, so hopefully 
sooner as uh, we thought. So maybe two or three weeks or maybe a month because at the beginning we were uh, expecting maybe Christmas. So we're positive now, but again, this uh, kind of injuries, you never know. Uh, you mentioned that you've, you've lost th the last three games, but is it fair to say your season won't be decided by your results against the likes of Everton and Tottenham that will be against the teams in your area of the table? Yes, but uh, we can't think that we are. Uh, we have just important uh, points against them because uh, what they were going to arrive to those games and we are going to lose. And for a reason, we have to try to to add uh, the points as soon as uh, as possible and uh, forgetting which is the which the opponent is. Because again, when we played in our intensity, in our uh, style, we we played really well against uh, Everton. And when we played in our intensity, in our um, consistency. And with uh, the right attitude, uh, we were at least as good as uh, Tottenham. And again, we are speaking about a team which is uh, playing in the championship, in the Champions League, sorry, and uh, is ambitious in the Premier League. So our reason is just to to keep going in that way, and especially from the beginning of the games. How do you ensure that the players keep their self-belief? Because losing can almost become a habit, can't it? If you, if you do it over and over. I think uh, the best. Uh, the best reason is the, the second half against uh, Tottenham because uh, again, if uh, we had lost three games uh, for one or five one, or it would have been difficult. But uh, losing the games uh, in the way that we are losing, I don't think we need to change anything apart of the the mistakes or uh, the attitude on the on the pitch because again, uh, we we haven't lost uh, one game five or six nil because uh, the team has been competing till the last second every single game against uh, Everton. Um, there was a, a moment in the, the game at the weekend where Victor Valdez and Alan Clayton had, had words with each other. In some ways, is that a positive thing to say that they care? They care about what they're doing in there. Always says uh, it's positive to argue with your uh, teammates when you are a leader and you want to to win the games. The, the only thing is that it wasn't the place. Uh, I said after the game that the, uh, the uh, we have a lot of time here in the. In the training ground, we have uh, time in the changing room at the stadium, so I don't think it's good for the for anybody to to argue in in the pitch. But again, uh, both of them saw that they were uh, characters. The kind of things that I I want in the, in the team because uh, I can't be on the pitch, so I need I need uh, some leaders on the on the pitch, and they know that they, they did they made a, a mistake. And for a reason is the the main thing that we. We saw that the, everybody on the pitch wants to, to win the games. And just finally going back to, to Gareth Southgate, he's held in very high regard at this club. How good is it for the club to, to see one of one of your own in charge of the, the national team? Good, I think it's uh, at the moment that the, the club is living. So, Premier League again, with a national team manager who was a player, a captain, a, a manager here, so it's a, a time to, to enjoy it. It's, it's a very difficult job, especially for an inexperienced manager. Well, he's uh, experienced. He's uh, been a manager in Premier League. He knows the federation. He knows uh, to work with the national team players. He was one of them. So I think it's, it's difficult, but uh, he's, not a, uh, he's not an experience because he has other experience. Because I was an experience when I came here, and now we are in Premier League. So he is not experienced as a national team coach, but he has another other experiences.